We'll start her up. Tilt. Pan. Dolly. Dutch. Working on the weekend as usual. Working on the weekdays. Let's play. Well, uh, let me finish the reel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Push, push, push. Pedestal. Truck. Roll. Roll. All right. Those are some camera movies. Okay, I don't know if I'm breaking the internet. It looks like I'm getting warnings in the stream. Current bitrate is lower than recommended. Lower than the recommended bitrate. More info. I don't know. More info. The stream's bitrate is blah, 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 blah. Lower than the recommended bitrate. We recommend that you use a bitrate of this. Hmm. Interesting. I hope it's working. Ah, uh, jeez. You know, we're trying. We're trying our best over here. We are trying. I might have to end that stream for a moment. Maybe that's going to be something that we do. Hey, Luciana. Hey, Franlism. Hey, Hiram. What's going on? Can you tell me, um, is the YouTube stream working at all? Please give me a confirmation. Confirm. 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 Does the YouTube work? I don't know. I don't know if the working uh, YouTube. I don't know if it's working at all. Stickers are blowing out quite nicely, quite nicely. All right, working on this format, kids. Um, welcome, welcome. It is the real Marku. How's it going? We have quite a show going on, but I'm already dealing with technical difficulties, so that is quite interesting. Not something that I really want to deal with at the moment, but I'm trying my best to try to work out this YouTube stream. I really hope it is working. I don't know. I don't know if it's working at all. But we're giving it a shot, and uh, you can see that I started the show trying to do like an intro package. Um, try to get, you know, I'm trying to develop my brand a little bit because, you know, we've talked a lot about format, and the format of this program is I'm doing a live stream, a little bit kind of like a gaming gamer setup where, you know, you have the multi stream and. You could see me talking, and it's kind of like a play-by-play. -play. So that's a little bit of the development of this brand, I think it is. I don't know. It's a brand that uh, has gone a long route, which um, I had no time to do pre-production. I mean, pre-production did not exist. This just happened, and like all of a sudden I had to do something. So I was like, okay, bring this together, that together, this together, other ideas I've been coming up with for a long time, and okay, let's hodgepodge this thing together, and boom! You got the real Marku, which is the brand that I'm working on. Uh, the real, the real, the real is something that uh, I hope transcend to um, a lot of students, particularly um, that can find themselves developing a sort of log or almost like a video journal or a photo journal, something that's like developing a portfolio through this 
unprecedented time. So uh, we've been working on that. And um, yeah, any confirmation on the YouTube stream? But uh, just checking that out. Just let me know if you can. Uh, it's a dangerous day today. Happy Fool's Day. You saw the pictures that I posted up there. And there was Juna had put a, uh, a snake above my head when I was sleeping. And I woke up and I was like, ah! You know, um, and I liked the shot. So what I did was I, I first I took the shot from my angle, from my point of view, my perspective. I took the shot and I realized, oh, yeah, the Christmas lights are still up. We haven't taken those down yet. But they weren't on. So I was like, oh, I'll turn those on. And I turned them on. And it kind of added a little glow. It added a cool kind of like um, red reflection behind uh, behind the snake's head. And you can kind of see right here if I go back to my setup. Can I? I don't know. I'm trying. Okay, yeah, we have the snake that was kind of over my head. Whoa! It freaked me out. Um, kind of a neat little element. But we're always looking for a little piece of inspiration that we can pull. Yeah, this stream is, is acting funky. So I'm going to think... Uh, stream's current bit rate that lower than recommend... Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to try to work that out live if I can. Uh, do a little preference. Switch my roo output uh maybe if i put that back up to where it was recommended okay so i can change it i don't know i don't know if it's working at all looks like it stopped looks like it stopped i'm gonna end it right now we'll end that stream um yeah let's end that stream and uh okay so yeah it's an interesting show it looks like the youtube uh went down for a second oh annoying i might have to figure that out in a moment because i do want to show you stuff stuff online uh today i had a big show planned and <clears throat> it's already messing up because it's happy fool's day um and you know i'm looking forward to seeing if someone out there would even like maybe fool me um fool me good fool me fool me right you know like give me a a reason to like cry so that way I have a um, place to go to when I need to fake cry online um, I can think back to that time that you really did me good on April Fool's Day and how it really affected me personally and emotionally and um, I have a place to go when I need to as a performer um but yes this is the real Marku and um just talking a little bit today about April Fool's Day, you know, be careful out there, you know, uh, don't trick people uh, too crazily. Um, a lot of people have different conditions, and we're all kind of feeling a little bit funky every now and then, you know, it, we ride our energy. Um, but yeah, don't don't trick someone that's going to like make them like really freak out or like really affect them. You know, in fact, you could always put a little April Fool's trigger warning on your April Fool's joke that you're playing for somebody. Um, but I'm going to try to do a new stream over here, um, and we'll see how that goes. Give me a moment here, um, stand by, stand by, you're going to look at this guy for a second, um, let's see if we can angle it down a little bit, here, you can look at him for a moment while I figure out this stream, the little Viking dude will talk to you while I, uh, try to figure this out. Hey, Mr. Marku, uh, what's going on today? Well, uh, dude, I gotta say, I'm kind of oh, try, trying to do this thing again. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, Real Marku, episode 8. Uh, so it's kind of going to be an April Fool's joke if you go to the YouTube page because you're going to be like, episode 8, what is this? Just Marku flipping out and then the, 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 the stream broke. That's not funny. Not funny the stream broke. YouTube's playing games on me today. I'll call this one Fool just so you know. Um, yeah, I'm not putting a description yet. No description for this certain thing. Um, yep. It's not made for kids. We click that button, um, and let's create stream. Oh, no. I got to go back to the stream, and I got to uh, do this funky thing. I got to pull this. Oh, no. Eight. 
gives you a certain time limit to actually copy and paste your uh, stream code. So you got to be careful with that. Oh, 2-1. Uh, I missed it. I'll try it one more time. Um, if you're ever messing with OBS software or you're having questions with it, just let me know because I've been going through a lot of different quirks with it and I might be able to help you out. Maybe. Um, particularly for, you know, we talk about format, we talk about like streaming and stuff. A lot of you guys are uh, gamers, particularly the 11th graders, and uh, OBS is used oftentimes with, with gaming software so people can kind of talk, you can see them as they're playing video games. And it's become quite entertaining. You know, I worked for PAX East for about eight years, and what I found was phenomenal was that people were actually um, watching these, uh, watching people play video games, you know, and so I thought that that was pretty cool. Oh, you know, uh, shoot, I got to uh, turn, stop the streaming, all right, we stop the streaming in OBS, and then I go to my preferences again, and I'm not showing you the stuff because I don't want you to see my passwords and stuff like that, so let's try doing that. Okay, start streaming on the, doo -doo. again, uh, it says it's live, let's go back, let's try to make this work, oh, please, 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 it'd be wonderful, because it's a happy fool's day, and we want to be happy on a happy fool's day, um, fool me, fool me, connecting stream software, go live, okay, I think it's about to go live, ah! We'll see if everyone's still with me. Uh, give a fire or a wave or something like that. Maybe we could figure this out. Looks like it's an excellent connection. We'll see how long that lasts. But feel free to comment multiple ways. One thing I like about this virtual critique format is I want to see that you guys engage a little bit because also it gives me funnier stuff to go to. Um, and I think it's going to make it for a more lively show that might expand because part of the brand of uh, the real Marku that I've been playing with is the fact of this reel, right? You know, these streams are like a reel that are ongoing. And the format particularly, I find people watch these things almost like they watch podcasts or listen to podcasts, where it's just kind of like a, a stream of consciousness thing. So, you know, and I'm a little unsure about it. it. Again, it's something that's developing. It's just this weird new format that could go on and on and on. So I thought about the reel and I was like, well, you know, you could be streaming like as your real Marku, as your real type of film, as your real whatever. And then eventually, you know, someone else might start alive or start a, a reel or, or something like that. So like these reels would be ongoing and ongoing and just like constantly spreading out into this web of reels that um, is kind of this weird body of work that just is expanding and trying to push this art form in a new and innovative way but i don't know what do i know just messing around and figuring stuff out on a little bit of a quiet happy fool's day um shout out 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 to um the real Ray, shout out to the real Ephraim, shout out to my seniors. I gotta give you love because um, I really miss you guys superbly. You know, I want to get the seniors together, hopefully on a Zoom call or something like that. Look for my Zoom calls. I'm probably just gonna randomly message you in the middle of the day one of these days, and and you're gonna be like, who? Why is he trying to contact me? But I'm trying because I want to get us together and I want to innovate what our senior show may look like in the condition that we're in right now, or prepare for something pretty wild. Worked on the set a little bit, um, put a couple um, things in the background, we'll see if you can notice them or whatever like that, just feel free to let me know. But um, I also moved, uh, marked the centaur back a little bit, which maybe I should have moved him a little forward, but I felt like I was, I was kind of bending over here a lot, and I was oftentimes like kind of eating him, which was a little weird to me. So I kind of wanted to work that out a little bit with my, um, my set which is part of my format. The set is part of my brand in a weird way, right? Um, <clears throat> and that's what I want you guys to think about with this, um, with these assignments that I'm giving you. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think this is working. Um, if you find yourself on YouTube and checking this out, just please send me over a little uh, message or a ding or something like that, particularly on the YouTube page. Uh, subscribe if you feel it, so that way um, I can see that this is working. We are 13 minutes in, folks. This is The Real Marku, in case you have just tuned in. Sponsored by, not sponsored by, um, that guy. That guy up there in the top corner. It's a little backwards. It's a little at pit, peer, at peer, or uh, backwards. Bing! 
this is the real Marku. You're back. I've just got out of an auto function and I'm going back to manual. Here we go. All right. So, uh, yeah, those, those are things like, that's like a little catchphrase. I've been working on little catchphrases or things like that. Like I thought about the format of like how I've been putting this out there or trying to like get people to watch. And, um, I, you know, the real, obviously it's kind of annoying, a little bit pretentious, I have to say, but, um, you know, uh, working on the brand and uh things like uh distant film education it's kind of like distant because like this guy looks distant he where'd he come from and um you know you know so distant film edu i started off with um no shortages fully stocked you know and i thought that was a little bit funny but probably a little scary too i think some people kind of like look at the first thing and they're like whoa don't tune in to that guy TMI, yo, TMI, TMI, the real TMI, the real I, info. So, yeah, I try to have fun, and oh, it looks like I peek every now and then on my audio, but I'm just playing around with that. Um, I'm also trying to maybe move a little bit less, because I think if I move very hard, it really bogs down the system, because... Um, all the streams are trying to like catch up. All the pixels are trying to say, oh, Nick's hand moved over here, who moved over here. So all those pixels are having to change. It's not like the algorithm could just say, just repeat this over and over again while he does this dry humor thing where he just sits there. Not much is happening. Not many of the pixels are having to change except for my mouth right now, my eyes, right? So it's actually keeping a smoother stream maybe because the bit rate's a little bit lower. It's having to do less things to exhaust the system. However, if I'm moving around a lot, the pixels are having to change a lot. So the algorithm's like, oh, all messed up and trying to catch up. Again, some of my tech stuff, I'm still working out the kinks in that. And um, so when you watch these things and you're like, Marku, that was totally wrong. Um, yeah, tell me, that's fine. Um, and I already know there's a few things I got wrong. Yesterday, it was ridiculous. I said, I don't know what it was. We were doing over color, and at one point, I was like, yeah, you mix uh, blue and uh, green, and you get purple. Whoa. Work on your rundown, Marku. Yesterday, I didn't have much of a rundown. Today, I have a little bit more of a rundown, but we work on these things. You know, as I'm going through my day, I'm just kind of like jotting down ideas, things I want to teach you, and how I can make it maybe somewhat entertaining. This one's a two-pager. It's going to be wicked confusing. This is a wild ride today on a happy April Fool's Day. I hope someone tries to trick me. Juno already tricked me. She's tricking everybody right now. She's, she's the trickster, the merry trickster over here. So that's cool. Um, anyways, I did want, uh, you know, this is a, um, what do you call it, a B-Day? Yeah. So, um, hopefully we'll get some ninth graders chiming in, but I do have a couple seniors, and I did want to talk to seniors, because I want you guys to really pay attention to what, uh, I'm working on here, and I want you to think about, like, how you might be able to innovate this kind of format, this, um, streaming format, this, like, gamer format. I don't know. What kind of formats do we have? I get some activity here. Not getting any chat either way. So when I don't get chat, it's like, okay, I have to fill this up because otherwise... So the format of this is people are watching it later, so it needs to be more of a show. Sometimes you'll notice I'll like kind of look and I'll respond to someone who didn't say anything. And that's just me of a, a kind of a fake way of me say, like pretending like someone's actually talking to me or something like that. Or there is engagement, faking that there's an engagement. It's not fake. There's plenty of engaged people. I'm getting like... 40, 50 hits a day on these things. So clearly, um, the majority of those are my students and a couple people from my past that are like, what is up with that freak zone, Marku? Where has he gone with his life? He's still messing everything up and trying his best or close to that. If I can get the best, I, I'll bring it someday. We'll see. It may come down the line. What was that? That Well, that was a tease. I'm trying to, like, tease you guys with different ideas, you know? We'll talk about that uh, because that's going to be a secondary... Oh, warning again? Come on. Why is that so annoying? I think it's just, uh... This is just not working the way I would like to see it happen. I can see that it's all funky. That's all right. Uh, maybe we're going to avoid the YouTube today. I really don't have to record this thing separately because that's really annoying. I'm ranting. Today is a rant day. Oof. I hope I don't have to push that lesson plan past us a little bit. Oh, man. Why? Why do you do that? 
Did you do this to me, warning sign? I don't know, Mr. Merku, why did that warning come up? I don't know, Mr. Viking. It's it's kind of strange, you know. I'm trying to work on this format and this thing keeps bogging down. I have to do this again. This stream is fooling me multiple times. I have to do multiple fools within the fool. All right. No shortages, people. Fully stocked. Um, we're working on it. And um, anyways, keep you guys a little bit engaged while I see if this thing comes together. I don't think it's going to come together. I might have to do it again, which would be super annoying because we are 20 minutes in, folks, and I haven't taught you nil. A little bit about branding, a little on the loose side. So anyways, let's just get into it a little bit because uh, maybe this will be useful while this thing crashes on me. Um, all right, so... Kind of going into it, um, yeah, so seniors, you know, I want you guys to be thinking about, like, how we can innovate this thing. I talked about formats, you know, we have some formats. Um, this is a live stream, kind of similar to a gaming program or, like, some nerd who tells you about cameras, a little mixed up, but um, maybe a little bit of fun um, and a little artsy, fartsy, um, stinky. Um, so, yeah, uh, format, you know, we develop formats or templates. It's, you may invent your own format, you know, you might invent your own template, and that's the key is to, like, innovate what shows may look like in the future. Um, you know, I talk about, uh, I look at this kind of online experience, the Zoom and everything else that's working out here, and um, hopefully you can hear me on the stream and you're just seeing, like, me in a uh, move that's not uh, my jitter. Anyways, um, yo, um, game shows, you know, I've been looking forward to seeing maybe some live stream game shows. I thought that would be a cool idea. Um, you know, we always have local news, you know, local news is very important. Shot, shot, shout out to the Dirty Dozen where I got a lot of experience working with those guys. I'm not going to call them out by name because I don't want them to get embarrassed and, um, and be like, oh, I never worked with the guy. I promise you, I never did. Um, but yeah, five years, we did a lot of rebranding. I worked in the graphics department and camera. And so we were always developing things. And I was actually involved with the beginning of the road show, which was uh, kind of like a lifestyle program. And what we did, um, what I didn't have the chance to do with the real Marku is, um, you know, we, we actually did the show like it was live for about a week or two. And we, we would film it like it was live, but it wasn't live. It was just us practicing and getting used to the flow of the show. So that's a nice thing to do when I talked about, like, if you want to practice this thing, just, like, make your stuff private and see where it's going to go. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, format. You can also think about, like, drama or soap opera. I, I find it interesting with this whole, like, flixy um, well, like, kind of, phenomenon that's going on right now it's really switched things up and um they're kind of it's weird because they make movies and they call them like epics and they want to get people out of theaters which is killing the industry but like i tend to watch those shows and i don't tend to watch those shows i just started watching a couple of them because i never had cable i always off, off the internet um i don't have cable i just kind of like use the internet right now um, which was new thing to me here at this house because I've just been stealing Wi-Fi till then. Don't tell anybody. Um, but yeah, <sighs> lose my train of thought every now and then. Oh yeah, but those little flixy shows—they're like they're okay, you know. Sometimes they're like epic. Sometimes they like look like a movie or something. I feel like they're just trying too hard to look like a movie. Is that just me? I feel like they're coming up to be like soap operas. Tell me in the comments if you feel like you agree. But like I was watching The Mandalorian the other day and I was excited to see it because I like Yoda and I like I like Boba Fett. Um, I love Werner Herzog. The bad guy's like a crazy documentarian. Watch Werner Herzog. Shout out to the real Herzog. Um, you know, this is a mockumentary, so I'm paying homage to all those, um, those filmmakers and uh, freaks. So, um... Yeah, I just tend to feel like they feel a little soap opery, like a little cheesy, you know, sometimes. They're like, oh, yeah, look at this dramatic shallow depth of field shot. You love this so much. Well, okay, whatever, you know, like do something innovative with it. We've seen that before. Keep going, keep going, push it, push it, push it, change it up, change it up. All right, uh, epics, cartoons, kid programming, you know, the world's your oyster as far as formats are concerned. You could just pick something and parody it, and uh, parodies also a different kind of format that you can innovate um or the mock, 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 mock documentary which is very fun um again when we're developing this stuff you can do different things you can storyboard screenplay script and uh if you are going to ad lib kind of like what i do i do a lot of ad libbing here um try to have a little bit of a structure 
I'm still working on my structure. I'm still working on my fitness. Uh, I'm still working on trying to get uh, the structure of the show better. So I've been including, like today I had an intro package. Um, and then that's going to go straight to a uh, bogged down stream that's not really working. And um, yeah, I also try to include what's called a bump. A bump is when you're trying to like segue to a new different kind of segment. So a bump could be like, uh, oh yeah, tune in in a little bit while you watch this commercial about uh, some furniture uh, place. You should buy um, a new sofa that has, you know, a refrigerator in it and uh, cup holders and you never have to leave that couch. Um, or, and then I might bump back in. I might be like, hey, welcome back, you know, and uh, we're going to toss to Mark. A bump in also might be something like a coverage you can count on, or like, a, or I don't know. No shortages. Fully stocked. Come back. Tune in. You know, that's also kind of like a tease. And um, I got a little tease for you guys that are still on the IG feed. Um, uh, if you guys, you know, I, I'm not making this an official assignment. But it seems like a lot of people are engaged and they want to go forward with making some new stuff. Um, so... I was just uh, playing around. I'm ending the YouTube stream. I'm going to start that again. Um, playing around. So if you're looking for more projects, today's a perfect opportunity. I encourage you, um, and I'm going to look at these too if you have them up. This is your tease to watch the show. If you watch the show, you get you get the extra treatment. Um, so uh, the tease today is uh, hashtag the real distant fools. Whoa, piano just fell over. Little kid piano, it's kind of funny. Made a cool sound. Um, yeah, so hashtag the real distant fools. And if you have like a funny April Fool's joke that comes up, take a picture or uh, you can like shoot it or something like that. Just don't make it um, harm anybody or stuff like that. Um, and uh, try not to scare anybody. Or if you're going to do something scary, try to give a trigger warning. Or maybe fake the fact that it happened. That's mockumentary. So if I faked a uh, April Fool's joke on somebody and they acted super reactionary and stuff, and maybe it was really funny, you could have, like, tricked us that it was real. And that might be a cool April Fool's joke to, um, to play or craft with your family or your loved ones and uh, try to break up the day a little bit. Um, so, yeah. I did stop the YouTube stream. I'm going to try to get that going again. It's a little funky over here this morning. This is a hump day, right, Wednesday. Um, congratulations for getting this far. And if you have other work to do, probably go get that done. Just don't, like, procrastinate and play video games or, like, watch Mori Povich. It's annoying. Those guys are actors. Um, all right, let's go into OBS again. Hopefully I can stop this stream and... Make it work, yo. Oh, the preferences is already up here. So that works. That works. That works. I'm also try I also am making the hardware run this, so I'm hoping that that'll um, bump up the quality a little bit. But I think a lot of it has to do with my Wi-Fi connection, which isn't so great. Oh, what you gonna do? Gonna bump it out with some exhausted sounding Marku. Ah, oh, jeez. Why'd this have to happen right now? I don't want to record this separately. It's so annoying. Oh, woe is me. Still haven't got any tricks. No one's tricking me. I'm starting to feel a little left out. Ah. <sighs> Not enough engagement. Oh, Ray had something. How did they do the teleprompter and update it live if the talent is working from home? Ah, interesting. Well, you can develop things that might be a little tricky. So for teleprompters, oftentimes the teleprompter plays backwards, like a backwards ripta. Um, so the backwards ripta is reflected in a um, see-through mirror that's in front of the lens. So uh, the talent can see the teleprompter reading the correct way so it's actually like a program that plays all the script backwards and they're able to look directly into the mirror which is on the other side of our lens you're seeing it all right side whatever uh, so I've known some people to do some DIY some do-it-yourself prompters shout out to the real Forbes the real Lisa Forbes one of the first um, co-teachers at TAPA uh, phenomenal talent and um, you know I, I love you to death Connie um, but anyways, 
yeah, she made a, like a really cool like DIY teleprompter. Um, there might be some apps. I'll try to look that up. But uh, also, we used to use at Tap of Film. We used to use a uh, iPad with a te teleprompter app, and we would just like kind of put that over the lens or put it close to the lens or like far from the lens, so it looks like you're getting that eye line, so you're able to look past the camera lens. But it looks like your you know your audience is engaged. This isn't perfect. What I'm trying to do right now, like maybe if I look at the pencil over there, yeah, it looks kind of like I'm talking to you, but it doesn't look like I'm talking at you, you know, and if I talk at you, it kind of freaks you out, you know, you're like, why is this guy talking to me? So sometimes, like in documentary, we like to kind of like skew the eye line, so it's like a perfect match. It's almost like, like if you go to a monument or something like that, and you look at a monument, it looks like its eyes are following you around the room, but it's not quite looking at you. You can look at that sculpture at a multiple perspectives, and it always looks like it kind of is looking at you at the corner of its eye. Well, that's interesting because you're part of the conversation, but I'm not like calling you out, right? So if you have like a tell if you're trying to do a makeshift teleprompter or put it put it where sometimes i put my rundown next to the iphone so i can kind of read as i'm going instead of like doing these stupid looks over here because i don't like you seeing like the side of my face and like all these veins going like marco you know um so like i try to keep engaged or try to try to keep a three-quarter perspective or like a straight on or sometimes i like to bend in and play around you know so anyways I don't know if that answers your question, but I'm trying my best over here, guys. Um, yeah, let's... Oh, my God. I guess we'll try it one last time. Maybe I can get some info out to you. Maybe we can play. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Let's create a new stream, and I'll try it one more time. <laughs> so I really wanted to go more into format and branding with you guys, because I want you guys developing your own brands. Or shows. Remember, they don't have to be vlogs. They don't have to be, like, um, you as talent or anything like that. You could be making a cartoon. You could be making, a, like, your own little mini movie eventually. Um, but tonight at midnight, the latest, you'll have a clue about um, what the pro, um, what your next assignment is going to be. And the ultimate due date is going to be um, Monday at midnight or earliest, earliest uh, Tuesday. I'm going to update my Skyward today, by the way. I'm going to do some catch-up work. Um, so, And granted, if I don't have the assignment, I'm just going to leave it empty. So, um, so that way you guys can catch up as you see fit. Because again, take care of your real life stuff. That's most important at this time, I believe. Um, but so I'm taking things with a grain of salt, but I do like your engagement and like if you find a different way to do my projects, please do it that way because I'll give you an uh, honest critique. Critique? <laughs> critique? Critique? No, critique. That's what I was saying. All right. Oh, gosh. All right, try this again. The third time. This is like, uh, so annoying. I got a lot of work to do this afternoon. Um, I'll skip that part. Come on. Um, stream now. No, don't stream now. Let's, uh, get the... Ah, what is going on offline? Stream, live stream offline. <sighs> I have to give up on the Selma screen today. Very good day. Let's try to copy that. Uh, reveal it. I want this key. Guys, I'm sorry. This is so slow today. I, but, you know, come up with some questions. I got the real effort on here. I definitely want to talk to you about your assignment. You got some cool stuff cooking. Um, perhaps you can help me break this art form. Be really fun. Be really fantastic. Be really, um, you know, alliteration. Trying to come up with an F word. You know, you build an alliteration in your brand oftentimes. You know, like coverage you can count on. Or, like, you know, whatever it is, you know... Uh, repeating the C sounds, um, other things you could do with format, uh, with your format is, you know, you come up with your branding, you got to think about different colors and stuff. That's something I wanted to show you today because I was totally messing up my colors yesterday. Um, yeah, so developing like an intro package, an outro package, a bump, a tease. So you could like tease people to watch your programming. My tease today was, uh, come up with a, uh, hashtag the real distant fools, uh, picture or, mini video uh, that we can watch and laugh at uh, might be a cool thread to follow and that's just an extra project you know have fun but uh get the real distant zone done make sure you get your blue zone all squared away or create a blue zone for a miniature character like uh you know viking dude over here so uh, okay i'll put uh, we gotta do this all again i should have started earlier just start earlier, but I'm trying to 
balance with the distance learning that is the iPads around here today. I changed some different encoder settings. Maybe that's it. Oh, we're going to try this one more time, folks, just for ish and giggles. Um, that's a code switch. And, um, okay, so it started streaming. Go to the live control room. Go, go, go. Go to the live control room. All right, new, oh, uh, what? That? Oh gosh, guys, this is. Let's start streaming. Yay! It may be complicated at first, but we'll help you through the key steps. Thank you. Thank you so much. It says I have. Str oh, am I back? Or oh, that's my old stream. Or am I streaming again? I don't know. Let's see if I go like this. I see it. I don't think so. Elapse time. It's still going. You are live, it's saying. All right, I'm live. All right, it works. So, yeah, we're back on uh, Fool 2 uh, YouTube simulcast. You know, this, you know, you're getting a chance to watch um, some guy try to figure this out on the fly with no pre-pro and developing the brand as he goes. So, you know, one thing you got to think about when developing your brand is thinking about, you know, you're seeing some of my brand right here. Um, I developed, you know, first I started off with kind of the uh, the main shot, which was a really cool shot. We shot at Old Tapa. Um, you're getting a chance to see kind of like this boca, this uh, shallow depth of field, the softness um, with this Bolex shot. So I kind of want to make this my bug eventually. A bug is something like a little bit of a icon or a logo that you always have in the corner or up here on IG is the live bug, right? It says that you're live every time you know it's going to be live and you know what to expect because it has the same colors as your scheme, the color scheme that you have come up with. So let's go into color scheme a little bit, right? If you're looking at the, I love this, this is Adobe um, tr uh, color color.com create um, I like it because you can like kind of pop in from monochromatic triad colors complementary colors like we talked about yesterday so yeah when we mix different colors and stuff like that we can see you know so red is the complementary color of green everything that's across from one another that's the complementary color so blue orange purple yellow green red those are complementary colors they fight one another they kind of make each other pop and you could uh, color checker cool because you can kind of pick palettes and decide like where you want to go with that um also there's uh, so there's some advanced stuff i'm not going to go into that but like analogous you know like so if all the colors are kind of like a similar theme you know or similar tonality analogous colors are going to work with one another more a little bit more assimilation happening a little bit more uh connection we're 40 minutes in folks so i apologize for the late kind of going but we've been dealing with a lot of april you know i asked for some april fools jokes but apparently it's just youtube that's playing the um the jokes on old marku here That's working, so I'm going to collect myself for a moment as I pick up this backwards polar. We have a lot of dolls in my garden. I don't know if you could heard that here. I don't know if you heard that, could heard that, or whatever. Can you heard the jokes into your mind? But, um, well, it's just my daughter. She's funny over there. Um, yeah, I gave myself that little bit of a segue. It was kind of like a bump out. So I give myself these bumps. I'm like, I'm like, and we'll talk to you in a moment. And I bump out, right? Um, or I'll uh, bump to Mark the Centaur and say, hey, Mark, what you doing? Um, or, you know, or maybe I'll have this guy be my bump or maybe he'll be my guy that I toss to. Um, this is for educational use only, by the way. Um, just making it official. You know, um, we don't take any... We don't take any money. We don't take any promotions. We are not really sponsored by any backwards anything. Um, however, um, I like to play around with branding and stuff like that. And I also want to teach into more media literacy, including um, my terrible stream health that is messing me up all day. Yo, turn this off. Maybe that's messing my up. I got too many things going, guys. Too many things. Too much stuff. It's still it says it's still streaming, so maybe you're hearing me. But um, yeah, they say it's easy. It's not so easy right now. Go live, baby. Oh, tough morning, guys. It's a hump day, and I'm just like 
I really wanted this show to be like magnificent, you know, like funny. Uh, maybe my daughter will come in here and play a little joke on me. Um, that she played all the jokes early, and we all um, so we're all looking for jokes now. I'm watching now. I guess looks like some people watching for a moment, and then it crashed down all the way because you cannot see me. That's okay. Uh, talking about that too much because yo, it's uh, I'm in the red. Gonna get this worked out today, folks. Anyways, um, yeah. We call it the April Fool's show that just went wrong all across the board. It's kind of fun, but uh, try to keep it real rolling, try to keep it going. So, like, yeah, repurpose. You know, when you're talking about copyright and stuff like that, um, or you're talking about different brands, um, if you want to kind of get around copyright and stuff like that, A, it's educational. So you're your students, so you're allowed to test things out, just don't make any money. But if someone writes you a cease and desist letter, that's your point when you have to take your thing down if you happen to be stealing somebody's work or their logo or something else like that. Um, other thing is repurpose things. So um, if you change something more than seven times, like flip it backwards and uh, joke about it, or I, I don't know, I'm kind of doing edgy stuff with that because I encourage people to always push copyright because that is our rights. Our rights are the ability to speak. Freedom of speech is very important. Parody actually is one way to defend yourself against copyright infringement because, um, you know, if you parody something, it's current and you're technically allowed to do that, although laws may have changed. So ch always double check my info. It's always wrong. Um, but yeah, Parody is one thing. Also, if something is news, like here and there, or your public figure, like, say, um, public figure like the real Marcou, I'm so public, you could, like, you know, work with that and be like, oh, yeah, there's this weird guy, he's online, he's trying to teach film education, and he's trying to do it in a different way, and um, I'm, I'm looking for engagement. For all you, like, specialists out there or educators out there who are like, this ain't no distant education. Uh, well, yeah. It, it's close um <clears throat> but yeah i'm just trying to do it in, innovative so uh, you know my audience is primarily high schoolers and um but i also try to like bend that to like also like maybe parents who like to watch kid programming like myself you know so it keeps engaged across generations and bring them together and also bring together people of all different spectrums um, to really just like kind of laugh at ourselves and realize that you know, none of this stuff really matters. We're all just in it, just in it on this thing spinning. There's some cool music going back there. I don't know if you can hear it. Stream has been dying. I'm gonna test this out though because you might be hearing me, but you might be just seeing a spinning wheel. It's still elapsing. Um, so that's interesting. Got to work on the stream health. Yeah, let's work on the stream health. Goods are happy. Viewers bad. Potentially seriously viewing issues. I have seriously viewing issues. It's all my fault. Oh, well. Maybe it's because there's too many things going through this pipe. I'm just going to try something. This is like a crazy, uh, oh, you know what? Oh, ha uh ha. -huh. I think I might have figured it out, folks. Let's see if that worked. It'll be amazing if it did. It will be amazing if it did. I just like play, go back to watch video, go to live control room, see if that worked. Um, yeah, this is a test. Um, this is a test of your emergency broadcast system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please, 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 please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. Big shout outs to all my cats out there. Big shout outs to the real from Liz. I'm always making some nice stuff. And I'm actually, you know, you guys have been challenging me quite a bit, being like, ah, oh, do more of this, do more of that. So yeah, critique me. Please give me more critiques. I, I especially my film majors, I want critiques from you. I want you to tell me like what I'm doing wrong or, or if you want to be involved, if you want to call in. I'm dying for one of you guys to call in and maybe try that out, see if we can break some other stuff. Um, but, yeah, whatever, whatever works for you, you know. We are 43 minutes in, folks. This is a long program. But, again, this is like kind of stream of consciousness format, which could be anything. I always know where your lens is, you know, so I know where you can look at if you need to address the viewers or something like that. Our strong viewers, we love you so much. 
Oh, yeah, so other teases, you know, like um, another tease that I'm going to give you because you've been uh, hopefully viewing for a while, and if you viewed the third fool that I'm about to start, I don't know if I should start a third fool. We'll try episode, we're going to go F8, fool 2. You know, we're fooling you guys all day. You're going to think these are jokes, but they're not. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, create, and I'm going to, Stop streaming, and I'm going to create a new key. So this is the process that I go through. I have to copy and paste the new streaming key, and then I have to put that into preferences in OBS. Ah, and it only gives you 10 seconds to actually get it. So you have to like kind of be on your toes and pick it up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be going through everybody's work and double checking and making sure everything is uh, good. And uh, according to assignments, uh, getting things done. Um, and I really wanted to do some more crit because we already had some uh, distant zones that came in that were really encouraging. Uh, make sure you take a peek on your headroom. You know, I added my headroom back so I can kind of like move around a little bit. Um, and I also did a little bit of things to set. We'll see if you notice, if you notice, um, you know, put that in a message to me at some point and maybe I'll be like, I'll give you a special shout out. If you want a shout out, I like to do shout outs, you know, shout out, sh 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 shout outs, a little different than a shout out. It's a little bit of everything, but, um, particularly cause our format is talking about cameras and how to move, uh, stuff in time-based media. Pausing. Um, yeah, let's go back to that output setting, and I'm going to give that a shot. You're not seeing what I'm doing. You're just looking at a Bullux. Bullux, Bullux, Bullux. So that's cool. We'll save that. We will start streaming once again the third time. Holy moly. And, um, it says it's actually in connection now. So I think what happened was I was screwing up, and this is a good thing for you guys to know, too. Um, I mean, we'll wait till we go live to actually show you what's happening. But, yeah, this is, uh, started streaming. It says it's streaming. I don't know. Or it says it's going to go live. And boom! We're going to go live for the third time. Going live, going live, going... Hey! Happy, 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 happy April Fool's Day, guys. This is the third April Fool's joke, um, stream. It's, we're not joking around. We're going through real issues. So, um, yeah, the fool is this guy. Build your brand, folks. Um, yeah, so if you're watching these teases, you know, um, this is a special thing because if you kept following along, now I'm teasing you to the third Fool episode. And what I'm about to say is I'm giving you guys a special little secret. Ninth graders, I really wanted to crit you today, but I have had a lot of internet issues, so I'm going to get to that. But I did give critiques in your comments, so take a peek at that and let's advance our work. Focus on your real zones. Look at that project. If you have any questions, let me know. But... The next assignment. I'm just telling you, live in stereo. Live in stereo. <laughs> live in stereo. So don't tell anybody. Make them watch. Unless it's taking up your time and you need to do laundry. Um. So yeah, the uh, your new assignment that's going to be due Monday at midnight. On top of this extra thing that I put in, hashtag the real distant fools, which is if you have a April Fool's joke and you uh, have some archive of that, a picture or video, that'd be cool. Um, not graded, but just extra for you extra guys that like extra stuff. Um, but the new assignment, if you kept watching, and I'm going to tease it eventually, I'm going to first, I'm going to try to hook you in with some jokes. And then I might tell you, if you keep tuning in, or you follow me, or... Um, no, we'll be back in a moment. How you doing, Juna? Good. There's a commercial rolling right now. Backwards ripped to about some ad space today. Oh, looks like we're coming back. All right. And, um, in three, two, Hey, how's it going? I'm back. Uh, I just bumped you out uh, for a second. I was just about to tease something, and I was about to show you something. It was kind of cool, um, but I, I had to go to a quick advertisement. And notice when I came back, I went three, two, 
you never say the one because, you know, if you're about to cue one of these uh, takes or something like that, you don't want to hear, like, when you hit record, one, you know, or the back half of, you know. Um, so whenever you're doing a countdown, always go five, four, three, two. Right? Uh, that's what I used to do in the news. Um, also, we have a couple other things that are kind of tricky. One is this is a signal for 15. So if you're going to a talent, you're like, that means 15. Um, so like 15 seconds left, right? And then you got 10 seconds left. And you got five. And, and a person understands if they're talent. Oh, yeah, that tease. I keep teasing you guys for the tease. And I keep bumping out before I give you that tease because I was about to give you guys the new assignment. But I'm not ready. I'm not sure if you guys are ready for it. It depends on how far you've watched along, and if you're watching Fool Two, um, and it looks like we have an excellent connection. So I'm excited that we actually figured out something together, guys. We figured something out together. It's a little bit of my format, my, a little bit of my branding, actually, is that we're kind of building the ship as we fly it, or we're building this plane as we sink it, or we're uh, yeah. So the new assignment for you was oh wait what what's that all right the new assignment the real distant tease the real distant tease so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take your real distant zone your idea for your format your idea for your branding and all that stuff whether it be a cartoon puppet show um vlog uh experiment please be experimental game show you know whatever format you fill into and i think i have to go through this again sometime to like get you guys into but um you're to make at least at least i'm making this at least uh, minimum so like a 10 second tease so it could be a mix of a slideshow it could be a little bit of video it could be one take it could be multi takes if you're getting tricky with apps and stuff like that but i want a 10 second tease it should be advertising your program tease us to like watch what you're about to show us whether it be a movie or whatever you might have a teaser you might have a trailer you might have just a straight out commercial um but yeah that's gonna be your new assignment i'm gonna post that at midnight um so that way people who didn't watch this can't see that um and that's my tease and that's the payoff right um a part of this format is also we're trying to be interactive which i have not enough engagement guys on the thread i would really like that please please all right, this is a long show, 51 minutes, a little too long. Actually, it's broken into pieces. And if you watched The Second Fool, you actually got what I was talking about a little earlier. I'm not going to mention it again, so you have to scrub through this line back and forth to find it and give me tons of activity that I can see in my analytics. My analytics hopping, hopping, hopping. Any requests, yo? I'll see if I missed anything in my rundown. Um, if that wasn't enough information in, in um, that new assignment that I just talked about, uh, just message me personally or uh, try to subscribe on the YouTube so I can see what's going on. Again, I don't know if it's going right. Oh, if we oh, because we are on that YouTube. Let's just pop around to some people's work because I do like to do that. You know, a little bit of my format or my branding is, I you know, I take inspiration from a lot of different people. Um, I grew up watching, um, you know, we never had cable or anything like that it was always off the air television and um, we'd try to tune into different things but one of the things i used to always tune into early in the morning was i always tuned in at like four in the morning it was like the muppet show i loved the muppet show so it was so funny the way you could see like that the show was being made as it was being made so that's that really inspires me and um you know i i also think about um uh, Mr. Rogers, you know, he's so wholesome and um, really, you know, always breaks the paradigm of like what's going on in society. So like challenges things, um, whether they be political or social or, or just sustainability wise or things like that. So I, I really like that. Um, and I like his tone, too, because it makes you feel relaxed and you feel like you can watch it for a long period of time. Um, another one that I watch and this is hilarious because my uh, my my art teacher, my great art teacher, um, used to hate this guy. And I did. I mean, we all joked about him, you know, it was kind of funny. But like Bob Ross, you know, and he always talks about fluffy little clouds and stuff like that. And that's kind of where I got a little bit of my a few of my jokes um, is I, I'm always like, oh, yeah. I think this is really neat. Makes me really happy that you guys are still with me right now.
my audio is probably terrible. I'm not trying to... Another part of my format is the way I'm filming this. I haven't set up any great camera or any great mic because I want this mockumentary to kind of feel like it's authentic. Like, oh yeah, he's using a phone. Also, I want my students to know that they're using phones mostly too, so I want them to know, you know, you can do this with what you got, hopefully. Um, but anyways, I have an excellent connection right now, folks, and I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but anyways, yeah, part of the format is um, that I'm actually filming on an iPhone and that the audio is kind of terrible and you hear kind of things in the background and things are breaking as I make them. That's becoming part of the format today for sure. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, okay. A few little things. Um, you'll notice also in my story, you'll see like the little... Um, promo material that I made for my tease, which uh, was the snake coming at me ah, at uh, the April Fool's Day joke. I still haven't seen a joke played by anybody else, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, uh, when you're doing font and stuff like that, you have to break the programs to make what you want to do. So basically, I was able to add a couple drop shadows. Let's see if you notice it. Um, looking at the uh, paper towel, happy April Fool's Day joke thing that's up there. Um, and what I did was I just wrote the same thing three times, and then I put them each in different colors, and then I layered them to kind of get that... Um, that feeling of the shadow effect. It's not something that IG lets you do, but you know, you break the program to do what you want. So I had a kind of like a triple uh, thing going on, just experimenting. Also playing with complementary colors, because as you could tell, the snake was purple, so I used yellow font. So I figured they'd be bouncing off one another, and that might be a cool part of the branding um, element of what I'm doing here. I have no idea. It's very sloppy. It's very experimental. It's the real Marku. And um, I haven't done a lot of backwards riftas because I think that freaks people out sometimes. Just repurposing stuff, guys. Repurposing them. Put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. I love these distant learning things because, like, people are... My daughter watches them all the time, and they're very calm. And I feel like they feel a lot like Mr. Rogers or like a Bob Ross, you know, that calm voice that you can maybe listen to for an extended period of time. Maybe you're just chilling out, typing up a paper or whatever, and you're just like listening to this and it's calming and soothing. Um, other times you hear a backwards earth and it freaks you out and you're like, whoa, I need to stop watching this. Anyways, I'm on the multi-stream simulcasting. Um, on the, and it's almost uh, about four minutes out of one o'clock. I try to go home. Maybe I could see some stuff. So there's that uh, snake. Uh, really freaked me out this morning. Again, you see that purple. And I turned on the Christmas lights. A little blowout here, but uh, not a deal breaker. You know, content is queen, folks. Content is queen. Um, I want to show a couple zones here. Oh, I had a zone this morning from uh, The Real Jonathan. Shout out The Real Jonathan. Uh, he, he did a... Um, a fantastic kind of cubist piece I find here. I saw a lot of gaming stuff come through the pipeline. The Real Pat, shout out to you as well. Um, but I, I feel like there's like a cubism going on here, and it's natural with the, the mirror reflection. We talk a lot about reflections here at The Real Marku. And um, this interesting, I don't know if it's a painting or some kind of artwork, but it's really abstract. Reminds me of abstract expressionism. And uh, seeing that reflected with a little, you know, you're repurposing, I guess, the Xbox logo over there. Um, and also you got the corner of that um, that laptop screen and then this little corner of this screen. So it's all, you're breaking up the frame kind of like two-dimensionally, but there's these like three-dimensional worlds we can enter in each dimension. So it really teaches you something about existence. Like if we're looking at the world, it is a 4D existence we live in, uh, but perhaps it's 5D, perhaps it's 6D. I don't know how many Ds there are, but... That's okay. Um... Oh my god, I have one minute le remaining on the live stream. Oh my god, they're actually counting me out down. This is the first time this has ever happened, folks. I cannot believe it. Shout out, shout out to uh, Jonathan. Shout out to um, The Real Pat. Yo, check that out. It's That's another gamer one. Uh, shout out to The Real Matthew. Look at this one. That's so sweet. I love the big space. It's got a lot of headroom, and it's actually quite classic feeling. Yo, I have one minute left on the IG screen. This is the first time this has happened, and we're going to try another super fire. So this is a lightning round. Lightning round of uh, The Real Marku. It's inventing it right now. We're trying this out. I don't know. If, uh, 51 seconds. Oh, my God. The Real Alec. Check out The Real Alec. He's got this awesome shot. Tip a little bit grainy. Try to add a little bit more uh, lighting to that, but I really like your colorometry, kid. Uh, moving on. Okay, sideshow. Give it a shot. Sideshow. Sideshow. Shout out to Sideshow. All right. Um, yo, 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 
yo, yo, yo, got 30 seconds left, and I'm gonna shot it out, gonna shot it out to all my crew, I can't rap, no, I can't, no, okay, um, we're gonna go further into this tomorrow, because I did not get to everything, because of all the, uh, issues, but, uh, hopefully it gives you some ideas, give me a real, 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 give me the real distant fools, the real distant fools plural right put that in the first time you put the content uh check out your uh real distant zones and um the real something cut on